Carcinoid heart disease is a very dangerous condition associated with neuroendocrine tumours, which are rare tumours but have the capacity to produce chemicals that can damage the heart. If untreated, patients may die of this condition or suffer significant disability within two years. In this video, we shall see what this condition is, what are its symptoms, what are the tests required, the treatment and how it can be monitored in the long term. To understand it better, let's look at this cartoon. There's a small bowel, blood from the gut is filtered through the liver and then passes into the heart to be pumped into the lungs to get oxygen and then back to the heart. Neuroendocrine tumors are rare tumors that have the capacity to secrete hormones or chemicals. Typically, they may arise in the small bowel and spread to the local lymph nodes, which are small kidney-shaped tissue that can trap cancer cells. And these cancer cells may find their way into the liver to produce large deposits. In less than one third of the cases, these tumor cells may produce hormones or chemicals that normally the liver would break down. But if the quantity is very high, the liver's ability to do this is overcome. It's really important to realize that chemicals produced in this condition primarily occur in the liver due to the large number of metastatic deposits and the liver is the primary site of these chemicals which is then passed on and these chemicals then enter the main blood vessel through the veins into the heart and by doing so they damage the valves in the heart that connect the atrium to the ventricle. The atrium collects the blood from the whole of the body and passes it into the ventricle and the ventricle then pumps this blood towards the lungs. In this process there is damage to these valves which start to fail and instead of stopping blood from leaking back abnormally the blood starts going in the wrong direction because of the failure of this valve and the blood may struggle to pass through this valve because this tends to become hardened and of a smaller diameter. This has a profound impact on the right side of the heart and its ability to deal with, with its function. This causes significant heart-related symptoms such as swelling of the ankles, tiredness and breathlessness, which is quite progressive. The damage to these valves is irreversible and if care is not taken then the effects can be life-threatening. Typically patients also suffer from carcinoid syndrome due to excess chemicals which includes diarrhea, cramping abdominal pain, spasm in the chest and flushing. So what tests are required to diagnose this condition and this can be divided into tests for the heart and those for the neuroendocrine tumor itself. For the heart an echocardiography would diagnose the damage to the heart valves this includes an ultrasound-based assessment called echocardiography. Blood tests such as the BNP would determine whether or not the heart is failing in its function, and this can be performed in a serial manner. Other investigations for the neuroendocrine tumor itself, such as scans and blood tests, have been described in another video in the playlist. To treat this condition, it is very important to have a very high index of suspicion in patients with carcinoid syndrome who are highly prone to developing heart-related symptoms and signs. Although medications such as diuretics to reduce fluid and telotristat, a newer medication which reduces symptoms of diarrhea and carcinoid syndrome can be tried, but really these patients require assessment for urgent cardiothoracic surgery such as valve replacement to rid them of these symptoms on a long-term basis and prevent a recurrence. If this surgery is overly delayed, these patients may no longer be candidates and their disease may progress. And of course, the underlying problem of the neuroendocrine tumor has to be addressed, but only after the valves have been treated with surgery. The one important thing to consider is that liver surgery cannot be performed in the presence of carcinoid heart disease because because of very high pressures of venous blood within the liver and any attempt at surgery would cause significant life-threatening bleeding, a fact that is sometimes not remembered when planning treatment for these patients. Long-term patients with carcinoid syndrome would need monitoring with serial echocardiography and BNP to ensure that the disease doesn't progress if the primary tumor and, and its significant liver metastases are not treated. Please do review other videos on neuroendocrine tumors in the playlist. If you have any comments, please do share.